Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from Instars by Chrissy.com. So I know that the readings for Leo to Aries is a bit delayed because of the erratic energy that has been going on and I am human just as well as you guys so there's a huge lot of Neptune energy aspecting the skies plus that we had this full moon in the sign of Leo which we had a few days ago and for some people they are still feeling this energy especially with you guys because you guys are Leo so it might have manifested for you something in a big way and this is all happening on the month of February so let's see what's going on with you guys what is it that is being shown to you what is it that you are finding out because you are going to find out something and it might be leaving you some form of in a very confused state of mind like you know something happens in your life that you know shake things up for you it could be like a panic attack or a sudden huge surprise which can be also a good way you know i'm not saying that it's it always has to be something negative it doesn't always have to be that way but um, just know that whatever you find out, it is going to pull in a lot of emotions in you. It can be positive, it can be negative, but you know, it can really shock you that whatever information that is, you know, it, it can be something about your love life or it could be something that's very personal to you that triggers your emotions as well because that is also the matters of the heart so and from what i'm getting over here whatever that you find out has a lot to do with fairness what is right what is wrong did someone wrong you or you might have found out that someone did something unfair maybe towards you or towards someone that you love that sort of thing some form of unfairness is being brought up into the surface and that's really the focusing energy over here it can prove to be shocking and there could be some form of negative connotation into that maybe you're feeling a lot of anxiety or maybe it makes you feel negative about the situation or whatever it is that you're going through at this time it can leave you dumbfounded as well but what we are seeing here is that with that upset with that surprise with that something that you find out in the process things will lead to go forward so you will find out something and whatever stagnant situation it is that you are going through right now it can be something to do with love it can be something in your very personal life something that you have been waiting on that you know maybe you have been waiting and waiting and nothing is happening you will find out something that changes things and that will move things forward for better or worse so there is definitely going to be you know movement in the air over here it can make you a bit sensitive though but it is leading you to the path of your true mission to where things should be really going so that is really what we're getting here we are seeing here that there's a lot of heaviness that you are going to be feeling and for some of you maybe you're not really able to make the right decisions or maybe you are confused of what decision should you be making i do suggest that whatever it is that you find out whatever surprise or upset or sudden information that you find out 
it is best that you consult someone first or you talk to someone about it first and don't make drastic decisions don't make drastic um, changes without the consultant without a consultant or without a consultation with someone maybe talk to a friend talk to a family member talk to your mom we do have the moon here and the queen of pentacles maybe you need to consult your mom your mother um or a role model some form of mother figure in your life whom you need you can talk to because we do also have the activation of gemini and neptune in the 10th house so the 10th house is all about our how other people see us our our career our status in life it could be a relationship you know um the status of your relationship the status quo so there could be some form of miscommunication that is happening right there because we do have neptune and gemini all together here and you guys know that neptune and gemini is just the worst combination because gemini raises up a lot of our nervous energy and neptune is a very piscean energy which can somehow correlate to what is happening for the month of february because for this month we do have mercury in the sign of pisces and it's going to make a conjunction with neptune in a retrograde as well at the middle of february around around february 14 is going to be the stationary of mercury so the official date of the mercury retrograde is going to be on the 17th so those can be very tricky time especially for you guys in terms of communication so be watchful about that be vigilant also because maybe other people are going to try to deceive you something is someone might be doing something unfair so you need to be watchful of that you need to make sure that you're not being forced into a situation or fooled to enter a situation wherein you might just be a victim of something or you know maybe a career will be on on um on threat or something like that or it could be you know a tempting situation that gives you that jeopardize a relationship or a career so it, it can be either of those things it doesn't have to be very negative though but i i cannot stress this enough that communication issues confusion and doubt is going to be very strong so don't make any hasty decisions without consulting someone without you know asking for a third party opinion or response because there's going to be a lot of confusing energy surrounding you i tell you but more than anything i do i do have to warn you that you know other people's energy and your energy are not in the best position at this time so be mindful of um confusion and deception also you are at the point wherein you want to fix things you want everything to be per to be perfect i'm not sure if the other person is in the same alignment as you do i kind of feel that for some of you there's a lot of fears that things are becoming slow as well so any important scenarios right now might be put on hold however once you get past this energy once all of that emotional blockages have been overcome and once this information has gone through 
once you overcome this stage, whatever it is that you're going through, there is going to be a spark of inspiration that is going to come for you. Like, you know, finally, I got the answer. Finally, I know what I should do with my current situation. So this can really manifest in various ways for different people, for those that are in the sign of Leo. One thing is for sure, though, you will be receiving something. You will be finding out something. Some of you guys might just be deliberating about some form of unfairness that they have been having or receiving from a relationship and you might make a decision on what to do about that because things are really unfair. There is so much unfairness here and I don't know about you guys but I've been picking up the lover's card almost for all of the zodiacs for this month of February. So choices and decision making when it comes to love might be in focus. But again, like I say, the reading here has a lot of cloudiness to it. So a lot of emotional energy as well. So emotional reaction can be very strong. Not to mention that we do have a Mercury retrograde in Pisces conjunct Neptune. So that has an added factor, especially for you guys. And you also have here Neptune and Gemini again. So I'm just repeating things to give you an idea that this is the energy that is fluctuating for you, for those that are in the sign of Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign. So be mindful of the decision that you do sudden decisions make sure that you're not um, pushing someone or manipulating someone to do something because that might just come back to bite you at the end so but overall there's going to be some form of refreshing energy into this you will be having some form of difficult time at the middle of the month but that misunderstanding, that miscommunication and problem is going to be resolved and things are going to, to give you some form of light and as if the burden that you are feeling is being lifted up, which is always a good thing. And I kind of feel that by the end of the cycle, by the end of February, you will find that there is a refreshing tone to everything, that everything happens for a reason. And that, you know, there is something that you will definitely be inspired about, you know. And you might just start something as well. For some of you, it could be that, you know, an office romance can start um, moving into the love scene. Like something or a, a specific man might be coming into your life. And it could be through work or, you know... It's either through work or you might just have, you might just meet someone who is hard to judge. Like you don't know what's really going on in their mind, but you are, you can fall head over heels with that person for whatever reason. Maybe they are very attractive, very handsome, or they make you feel good. So that can blossom into something but again i have to remind you guys to be careful because we do have a lot of neptunian and piscean energy in the air so deception and confusion seeing things in rose tinted glasses can be very much occur and happen for you so it is a very emotional reactive month for leos but on a positive side this can really trigger a lot of positive emotions and feelings for you overall but i do see that by the end of the month because things are at a confused confusion state at the beginning of February but as you end the month things feels liberating and you might feel that you are much more free and alive by then for whatever reasons 
But right now, it's all about sorting out what is unbalanced, what is not harmonious in your life. It could be a relationship. It could be something that you have with a friend or with a coworker. But that needs to be sorted out, and it will get sorted out later. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys. I do hope that this will help you navigate the month of February. It's not the most romantic one. It is quite a bit stressful, I have to admit. But it is something that I know can help some of you guys. So if you're watching this video at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month, let me know how this goes, okay? I would love to know how this relates to some of you guys. And um, yeah, I do hope the advice and insights here can help you to your future situations and endeavors as you go on for the month of February 2020. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. This is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and if you'd like a more personal reading, more details included, then you can book a session with me on my website, In The Stars by Chrissy.com and I'll see you guys next month.